a container contains 40 liters of milk. From this container, 4 liters of milk was taken out and replaced by water. This process was repeated two more times. How much milk is now left in the container? So these are the problems related to diluting the content. So we have 40 liters of milk. We are taking out 4 liters of milk and we are replacing it by water. So every time we are making sure the container is having 40 liters of the liquid. So initially there is 40 liters of milk, 0 liters of water. After that every time we are removing 4 liters of milk and we are adding 4 liters of water. Now this is the process we are doing total 3 times. Then we have to understand how much milk is now left in the container. So we will try to solve this problem. While doing that, we will also try to derive a shortcut method or a formula to solve this type of problem so that in competitive exam, if you got into this question, then you can solve it in 10 to 15 seconds by just putting the formula. After that, we will try to solve another interesting problem based on the shortcut method or for the formula, whatever we got. So let's go ahead with this. First, we will write down. Milk and water, milk in liters, water in liters. Remember always it is 40 only. Total is always 40. Initially, let us start. We have 40 liters of milk and water is 0 liters. Total is 40. I will write down here. Total is always 40. Next time what happened? From this container, 4 liters of milk was taken out. That means we did 40 minus 4 liters of milk. Can I write it as 4 into 1 or 4 into 40 by 40? Because there is no water there. So the ratio of milk is 100 percent that is 40 by 40 40 minus 4 into 40 by 40 and we don't want to worry about what to be written in this because we are not interested in water we are only interested in milk only so we'll just give total again we know will be 40 only now what is 40 minus 4 into 40 by 40 that is nothing but 36 so let's go to the next turn now so one time we have done it now we are doing it second time when we do second time we know out of this 40 liters we have 36 liters milk and the left out that is 4 liters is water 36 4 and 40 so the milk ratio is not 40 by 40 like earlier now it is 36 by 40 that means we are diluting the milk okay now let's go ahead and do the second time second time when we do what we are doing now? We are removing 4 liters of milk and we are adding 4 liters of water. So now left out milk is 36 liters. That is what we got earlier. From there, we are removing the milk in the ratio. What is the ratio? 36 is to 40. So we are removing 4 liters means we are not removing completely the milk. We are removing milk and water in their respective ratios. What is the ratio? 36 by 40 for milk. So 4 into 36 by 40. Can we write it as 36 into 1 minus 4 by 40. And that is equal to 32.4. Now remember this is nothing but 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40. Let's go to the next time. We will do it now third time. When we go to the third time, we have milk 32.4 liters and we want to remove 4 liters of milk. That means out of 4 liters, how much milk will be removed is based on the ratio. The ratio is 32.4 divided by 40 because after the second operation, whatever the milk and water ratio is 32.4 is to 7.6 or 32.5 by 40 is the milk ratio. So when we do this, we will have 32.4 into again 1 minus 4 by 40. 
we simplify that we will have 32.4 into 1 minus 0 0.1 0 0.9 if you multiply you will get 29.16 liters so our answer is 29.16 liters now if you observe here we started with 40 next is 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 next time we again multiplied whatever the answer we got with 1 minus 4 by 40 again one more time by 1 minus 4 by 40 so whatever the answer I got I think that should be nothing but equals to 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 how many times we have done 1 2 3 so whole cube now why can't we generalize this and get a formula if you if we say that there is x liters of milk and we are removing y liters of the milk taken out and replaced by water and we are doing it total n times then the formula of the milk left out after doing the dilutions n, n dilutions is x into 1 minus y by x whole to the power of n let us check that x is 40 1 minus y is 4 by x how many times total we have done three times that means n so this formula will give you the milk now left in the container so in the whatever the liquid we are talking about how much is left out after n dilutions if you have initially x liters of the liquid and you are removing 4 liters of the liquid and replacing it by water then this will be your answer so let's have a recap of this we have been given that there is 40 liters of milk from this container 4 liters of milk was taken out and replaced by water this process was repeated two more times how much milk is now left in the container initially it will be 40 and 0 when we removed 4 it became 36 and 4 that means the ratio is 36 by 40 for milk next time when we go from 36 we have to remove 4 liters of milk but we, we, we are not taking out 4 liters of milk we are taking only 4 into 36 by 40 because the ratio of milk to the total is 36 by 40 when we do that we got 32.4 now again we, from 32.4 we want to remove 4 liters of milk now the milk will be removed in the ratio of 32.4 by 40 so whatever we have done we understood this is nothing but the earlier value into 1 minus 4 by 40 so why can't we write it simply as 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 whole cube and generalizing that if you have x liters of milk and you are removing y liters of the quantity and replacing it by water and you are doing dilution n times then your formula is x into 1 minus y by x whole to the power of n x into 1 minus y by x whole to the power of n now this is the shortcut method so in the exam if they give you directly you can write down this and you know 4 by 40 is 1 by 10 0.1 1 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.9 so your answer is 40 into 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 which you can easily calculate within 20 seconds 36 32.4 29.16 is your answer now leveraging this shortcut method or the formula whatever we got let us try to solve another interesting problem get this interesting problem from a cask full of alcohol 8 liters are drawn and then filled with water this process is repeated three more times the ratio of the quantity of alcohol left in the cask and that of water is 16 is to 65 how many liters of alcohol did the cask hold originally it's like the earlier problem only but now without knowing the formula it may be a little bit difficult for us to solve this but we know the formula so we can go ahead and write down we know that if there is x liters initially we are removing y liters of the liquid and we are replacing it by water and we are doing it for n times then the amount of liquid left out after n dilutions is given by according to us x into 1 minus y by x whole to the power of n now 
we don't know what is x value here we need to find out that is only so i'll write down x into 1 minus y by x what is y y is 8 liters divided by x whole to the power of n how many times we are doing operation process is repeated three more times so we have done one here the plus three so n is nothing but four x we don't know and y is equal to eight so x into one minus eight by x whole to the power of four this is the alcohol left after four dilutions what is the total alcohol we have always we are maintaining sh that we have x liters now what is the ratio of that the ratio is x into 1 minus 8 by x whole to the power of 4 this is the milk alcohol left out sorry after four dilutions divided by the total is equal to what will be our ratio 16 divided by 81 why 81 because 16 is alcohol water is 65 that means 16 is to 16 plus 65 will be the total that is 16 is to 81 now let us simplify this we can write down 16 by 81 as 2 by 3 whole to the power of 4 now we can take out fourth root then we will have 1 minus 8 by x equals to 2 by 3 or 8 by x equals to 1 by 3 solving that we will get x equals to 24 liters so initially there is 24 liters from that we have removed 8 liters alcohol and filled it with water again we have removed 8 liters and filled it with water like this we have done four times finally we observed that the ratio of alcohol to the water is 16 is to 65 or alcohol to the total is 16 is to 81 so we know the alcohol left out after four dilutions is this and we know the total is this divide one by the other the ratio should be 16 by 81 now that can be written as 2 by 3 whole to the power of 4 from there we can understand that x equals to 24 liters so these are couple of interesting problems related to this maybe we'll do some more on this particular topic in the coming sessions thank you thanks for your time i'll see you again in the next video bye for now